Hello YouTube, I am Captain Rex 7567 or Rex for short, and today I'm going to be kicking off my YouTube channel with a redstone tutorial, and I'm going to be doing a lot of that. Uh, first I just want to say a little bit about myself. I got Minecraft in Alpha 1.2.6, and uh, that was a long time ago, and I really love this game, and I love doing redstone, so I thought I'd share some of the cool redstone things with you, and I'm also going to be doing an LP and some stuff with the Centurion. If you haven't heard of him, you should really check out his channel, and I'll put a link in the description. I just want to say that I'm not too good at talking in YouTube videos. I'm okay at it, uh, but my mic and my computer for some reason make me sound like I have my nose plugged when I'm talking and it just doesn't sound very good. I apologize for that. And I do my redstone videos and all my videos in a lot of tapes because I mess up quite a bit and I just want to say that. So if the tapes sort of annoy you, I'm really sorry. But today we're going to be looking at something really cool and that is Xuma's, well it's not really Xuma's, um, it's the liquid door. And uh, I think Xuma, I'm not really sure how to pronounce that, X-I-S-U-M-A, he invented it, I think, and uh, his wasn't the most compact thing ever, but it was really cool. So I decided to make my own designs, and I'll show them to you. So if we take a look at this first door, you'll notice that there's lava pouring down in the middle, and uh, actually both doors work with water or lava, but I prefer... Uh, different liquids with different doors, and if I press this button, the dispensers will put the lava in the buckets, and the pistons will remove the excess lava. So we can run inside, pick up our head, run back out, plunk it down, and close the door behind us. And then it takes a while to flow back down if it's the lava door. So here's our second door, and you're going to notice, you might notice, uh, first of all, that there are no pistons showing here. So this one's a little better for water. It is more like the redstone is bigger. So once again, if we push the button, the pistons will grab, get rid of the excess water, and the sources are put into these water buckets. So we can head inside, pick up our head again, and plunk it down. Then we can close the door behind us. All right, so now we can take a look at the redstone behind these two doors. First thing you'll notice is probably that this door has a lot less redstone. This, the redstone in this one is only two wide, whereas this one is three wide, and I'll explain why later. This third layer is actually necessary to keep the liquid from overflowing, but the actual redstone is too wide. Uh, you'll notice that this door works perfectly fine. Um, how it works is, basically, there's two monostable circuits here that these blocks here will T flip flop. This piston will make a very short pulse and push this block out so it will stay out. And what this does is it creates a floor when it's open, but when it's closed, it will make a hole that the water can flow into. And then it also fires these three pistons to get rid of the water, and then we'll fire the dispenser. So it's pretty simple. All right, and the second door is a little more complicated. I have water again in this one, but um, where should I start? All right, so there's the same monostable circuit, except the problem here is these bottom pistons need to T flip flop like the other ones, except they need a half tick pulse to do that. And these pistons up here, if you give them a half tick pulse, they're going to leave these blocks out. So what we need to do is we need to give them a will have a repeater set to two ticks to lengthen the pulse out so that they don't just stick the blocks out. Alright, so now we're going to take a look at how to build the first design, which requires less materials, but it also looks a little bit uglier. So, we're going to start by placing our pistons, which we are going to need one out here. I'm sorry, this is going to be your floor level. So, you can place a sticky piston there with a regular piston, up three regular pistons actually and then with a dispenser on top you're going to do the same on the other side next what you want to do is you want to place two blocks down like this with redstone dust in each one you want to place a sticky piston with a block on top a repeater block with a repeater block up on the edge of the repeater block up against this piston another block and a half slab here and a half slab here take out this block put redstone on all this and then you're going to put your button on this block so you'll notice that that side fires 
and then you're going to do the same on the other side. All right, so now you're going to want to put in your floor and the rest of your aesthetics. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. You want blocks up like this with, for your floor. You want to put two blocks under here for the liquid to rest on, and then your walls. And then you want to put a ring around here to hold the liquid. And then th lastly, you want to put blocks up like this so it doesn't look ugly from the inside. The very last thing you're going to want to do is place a water bucket or lava bucket in each one of the dispensers. Then you can try it by pressing your button and it should close nicely. Press it again and it open, opens nicely. Okay, so now we're going to be looking at how to build the second type of door. So once again, this is your floor level. You're going to place a piston here. But break those. You're going to place three more sticky pistons on top. And then you're going to place your dispenser here and you're going to do the same on the other side. Once you're done, you're just going to place a block here like before with a redstone dust, your monostable circuit like before. You're going to place a repeater here this time with a block up like this and a block beside this piston here. You're going to place a redstone dust on that block with another block here, a one tick repeater, a block on the repeater like before, block here, block here. You're going to place a two tick repeater here and a piece of redstone dust here. You're going to place a slab up like this with a redstone and another redstone. And then you're going to place a block here with a redstone dust, two blocks like this, two more redstone dust, and then a slab up like this with another redstone dust, and then another slab and a block on the side of the dispenser with a redstone dust here. And then you're going to do the same on the other side like always. Alright, once again, I want to apologize for the derpiness of the video and me forgetting how to build my own redstone creation. So, like before, we're going to add our aesthetics here with our blocks down like this. And this time, you're going to place blocks along those pistons, along with your walls, like before. And then you're going to put your blocks up here and your blocks, oops, your blocks up here. And then you're going to put your water buckets in the dispenser like before, and I forgot these blocks. Alright, so now, last thing you're going to do, like always, is place your button on the bottom here, and it should work fine. But unfortunately, that's all the time I have for today, so if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to leave a like, and if you like watching my videos, don't hesitate to subscribe. But thanks for watching, guys. Rex out.